friends and family. We have been invited here today to share with Allison and Matt this very important moment in their lives. In the time they have been together, their love and understanding of each other has grown and matured. Would everyone like to be seated? <laughs> and please make sure your cell phones are off. Thank you. Thank you for standing that long. <laughs> In the time Matt and Allison have been together, their love and understanding of each other has grown and matured. And now they have decided to live their lives together as husband and wife. Allison and Matt would like to express their thanks to all of you for being here today and for the love and support you have given them. You have each played a special part in helping them get to this joyous moment. Allison and Matt would like to recognize that not all of their loved ones are here today. In honor of those departed, I'd like to ask that we all observe a moment of silence. At Allison and Matt's request, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Bruce Cormack, and I am Matt's cousin. Mm -hmm. They say you can choose your friends, but you can't choose your family. Whenever I hear that, I think about all the people in my family that I am very grateful for. A lot more after today. <laughs> Although I didn't get to choose to have Matt in my life, I have definitely chosen to make him an important part of my life. Matt's a great guy whom I admire a lot. He is a family member who I have chosen to call a good friend. My entire family and I were so happy when Matt brought Allison into our lives five years ago. We all quickly came to love her and love her as part of our family. Allison and Matt are two of my favorite individuals and who together make an amazing couple. I am honored to be here in my role as friend and minister today and I'm happy to join with each of you in wishing them a brilliant future together. Now, I'd like to turn to a topic that Allison and Matt let me know is very near and dear to their hearts. It's a topic they felt strongly should be the integral part of my remarks before you today. So now let's turn our attention to Bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> Bourbon is a familiar drink with a somewhat unlikely manufacturing process. It comes from a recipe that calls for mixing pulverized corn, barley, and yeast in water, letting it ferment, then storing it in charred oak barrels for a few years before finally bottling. If all of this is done correctly, we get a beautiful golden brown liquid that over time develops its own unique character. And it is worth doing correctly. Corn, barley, water, and yeast may seem an unlikely starting place for such a fantastic beverage, but an unlikely start is sometimes just what is called for. We know that each of the many steps involved in the manufacturing of bourbon has had at least one successful incarnation, which, after its inception, is continually reused and so remains. We know this We know this because the recipe we are left with is a record of the culmination of those many little successes. We learn from Bourbon that an unlikely starting point, a keen eye for happy accidents, a conviction to excellence and improvement, and patience can all combine to produce something wonderful. A good marriage is like a good Bourbon. It starts with the finest ingredients, uses a recipe that constantly adapts and improves, over time. Both marriages and bourbon are made using skill and patience. <laughs> Both have a fiery edge when young and become warm, comforting, and mellow over time. 
like married individuals, bourbon stands on its own, but also mixes well. The night Matt and Allison met, Matt had planned on a night of browsing, and Allison had planned for herself a night of channel surfing. Allison changed her mind at the last minute and decided to go to a party. She showed up at the party and sensed a guy eyeing her from across the room. <laughs> that, that guy was Matt. They talked, they quipped, as Allison and Matt do so very well. They, then finally she arranged for him to ask her for her phone number. <laughs> it could have been an unlikely start, but as we can see in the story of Bourbon, sometimes an unlikely start is just what is called for. If I were to say that Allison and Matt were ingredients, I would say they are the finest ingredients. If I were to say their time together were a recipe, I would say it is a recipe that demonstrates a combination of many successes. Over the last three years, Allison and Matt have put feeling and patience into the formation of their relationship. As time continues, their relationship will mature to become more complex yet smooth, warm yet mellow. And as with any good bottle of bourbon, the best part is sharing it among friends. And that is what we're doing here today with Allison and Matt.